Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Tissue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Art Brute number one from Image Comics. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team here. Uh, this is written by W. Maxwell Prince with pencils and inks by Mario Morasso, colors by Matt Lopez, backup colors by Chris O'Halloran, and letters by Good All Neon. Uh, I am very excited. Uh, if you have been, you know, if you keep track of the podcast, uh, Martin Morasso and W. Maxwell Prince are also the creators of Ice Cream Man, uh, a book that I'm super like big fan of. Really enjoy this. Uh, so I, when they when they mentioned that this was going to be released, uh, I was very excited. Uh, so let me give you a quick synopsis because there's there's a lot of moving parts for this art brute. Uh, then we'll actually get to take a look at some interior previews and i'll talk more about the actual issue number one uh so <clears throat> presenting here the first major work from the creative minds behind ice cream men re-letter remaster and under its original intended name the world of fine art is falling apart but only art brute knows how to fix it alongside the bureau of artistic integrity arthur brute the mad dream painter and his trusty sidekick manny the mannequin must die back into the very paintings that made him insane. Or reality itself might crumble to pieces. A colorful gonzo romp through art and art history, Art Brute is equal parts police procedural, hyper fantasy, and psychological thriller, uh, thriller, a veritable Pollock splatter of comic genres tossed into one giant pulpy canvas. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this is amazing. I, I really, really enjoyed this premise. Now, we are also now told that each issue will feature new covers, new redesign, and a new Silver Age style backup story featuring the art hero that no one's ever heard of until now, uh, which I, I quite enjoyed the little story at the end of the uh, of this issue as well. So this was originally published under the title The Electric Sublime. The special edition presents the NPR lottery critically acclaimed material in its intended form. Uh, how cool is this? Just the fact that they get to re-release their comic as they first envisioned it uh, with all the bells and whistles uh, and a Spawn cover. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm sure that was part of the plan, uh, which you'll probably see at the end of the video. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's talk about Art Brute issue number one, uh, which, I mean, if you can't tell by now, you have to go pick it up. Uh, but let's take a look at some preview art. I'll talk more about this issue. Uh, we are, of course, in the loop because that's where art happens. Uh, and I just really like the introduction here. I like the very muted colors here of the, like, for a museum. Uh, like, all the characters, all the people seem to be wearing, like, the same kind of tone just because of the lighting. I do love this, you know, the, the museum tour guide uh, telling them no no flash photography. Uh, like, it, there's a lot of commentary here about art visiting museums. Uh, but then it, this is where we get into the shenanigans, right? Everybody probably knows the Mona Lisa. But as you may know, she's not normally winking. And that's where the art crime happens. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a really fun premise. I am a big fan of uh, police procedurals and procedurals in general, like like TV shows that are procedurals. I'm a big fan of that because I just I like formulaic television uh, and I like formulaic storytelling. Uh, which makes this very compelling. Uh, but then you throw on top of it some beautiful art. Let's check out this next few pages where we meet our hero, Art Brute. Uh, and, you know, as he paints this and we get this really cool splash page, it's uh, it's also very meta, right? Because we have an artist doing interior art, but then the, then Morasso and, and the team are also doing like, they're other, doing other type of art. Uh, it is just a, there's a lot of layers here. And of course, as with any comic by this team, uh, I mean, if you've read Ice Cream Man, you know that things can get a little meta. There's a lot of commentary. There's a lot of moving parts that are very entertaining. And I think that's what makes the comic medium just such a fun thing to explore here. Uh, I really, really enjoy this. I love uh, Morasso's art. I just think it's it, it took me a while to like get there to understand what like why it was so appealing. Uh, but now that I'm fully in, like after after reading so much ice cream, and this feels 
Um, I don't, I don't know that. I don't think that any of this stuff is connected because this is something they made before Ice Cream Man. But uh, I can see a lot of the the same type of like, just just a lot of uh, things that maybe built up to the Ice Cream Man that we have. Uh, so it's really, really interesting, uh, and just a really cool look back at their, you know, something that they did earlier in their career uh, being re released. So uh, let me know what you thought of this issue uh, and the backup. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. -bye.